welcome back in this video i'm going to be showing you two simple ways that you can make anything wiggle in after effects both methods won't be requiring you to do any keyframes manually and you can apply this to images shapes or even text and in fact the second method is going to be introducing you to something called expressions and this is all based on javascript you know what let's not talk too much let's dive right into it all right I'll just create a new composition using the HDTV presets, setting the background to white with a duration of 5 seconds and I'll call this one logo. After that, I'll drop the logo in here to create a new layer. Let's scale down the logo using the scale transform. I'll set it to somewhere around 10 and align it to the center. By the way, if you don't have all these panels here, click on the arrows at the top and select all panels to reveal them. To add a wiggle effect, click on the effects and presets then search for wiggle. And as you can see there are several pres available presets but we are only interested in the position wiggle presets for this video. Feel free to experiment with the others. So drag the position presets to the logo layer. It's that simple and you should have the wiggle effect once you hit play. But what if you want more displacements or movements in the logo? Well, the preset comes with lots of options to tweak the default setting. You can increase the wiggle amount and even speed. It also has the transform properties for you to mess with the position, scale and rotation properties. The second method is also simple and straightforward. So let's undo this wiggle preset, expand the logo layer, also expand the effects section and then delete the wiggle preset as well as the transform. Great. Now we we'll use the expression to create the same wiggle effect. Select the logo layer and press P on the keyboard to reveal the position transform. Then hold down the option key and click on the stopwatch. This will reveal the expression panel. Now we can just start by typing wiggle and select the option from the drop down. It takes in two parameters. So I will just type in 4,10. And this simply means that it will move four times per second and change the value of the vertical and horizontal by 10. So I'll play the animation and you'll see the logo wiggling all around. Uh, all we've done is just type in the expression wiggle 4,10 and we've got a very nice complex animation going on here without having to manually enter any keyframes. We can also apply the wiggle expression to other transform properties. So for example, press S to reveal the scale transform, then hold option key and click on the stopwatch. Type in wiggle 3,30 but yeah that's too much. As we can see, the logo jumping is jumping all around, all over the place. We can reduce it to 2,10 and that looks way better. I hope you learned something new. Give this video a thumbs up if you did and I'll see you in the next. Peace.